Hello everyone, Tony here. Uh, I decided to make this video on a knife from a knife maker that you may have not heard a lot about. You can see some of his work on blade forums. You may have heard a little bit about him on USN. Uh, he does have a Facebook page and a, and a recent website that he's working on. But uh, this is a custom Alan Davis lefty. The scales, curly koa. Backspacer and liners are titanium. Standard Spiderco spring clip. Spiderco opening hole. The blade is an old sawmill blade. I believe the steel is 1080 and nickel. Polished bevels and a polished spine. Runs on bearings, as all Allen, Allen's knives do. And it is amazingly smooth. It may not be heavy enough to fall under its own weight, but it just feels like glass. There's a picture of the centering, perfect blade centering. Alan Davis is a knife maker out of Texas. He's been making knives since 2008 per his website. Alan is a knife maker that has no set models. Basically anything that you can think of he'll make uh, or he'll make something that uh, you know that he likes. Uh, a lot of times you'll see his knives on sale on his website and on uh, Facebook and blade forums. And they're just models that he comes up with or materials that he's trying out. And he'll try out just about any material you can think of. Uh, recycled material like the blade on this, wooden handles. I've seen him do, sp you know, stag, uh, bone, mammoth, texture tech, lightning strike carbon fiber. Timascus, um, different stainless Damascus, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, he's one of the few makers I know that still does that. Uh, the only one that I can think of offhand, other than Alan, is uh, Elliot over at Fern Forge. Now, Alan doesn't use very thick titanium, at least I don't think he does. He didn't when I ordered my, my flipper which I actually have another, you know, an Allen Davis frame lock flipper, but it is currently in for spa treatment, so I don't have it on hand. But he normally doesn't work with really thick titanium. His, his titanium is a little bit thinner, um, so you won't see those giant tank-like frame locks, uh, which, is, which is fine. There's plenty of makers that make those kind of knives. See if we can't get some uh, macros of this beautiful wood. Some of the really neat details that he does here. You can see the lock bar right at the lock release. He has actually hammered it to match the pitting on the blade. I absolutely love that pitting. The scales I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up in this lighting. Maybe a little bit there. Are jeweled. There's a signature on the inside. Now this particular knife I didn't have made for me. 
I actually bought this one in the Cove on the USN. It was originally made for a guy named Fred. Uh, I believe his screen name is Willie Digger on the USN and Blade Forums. He's also known as Wabasabi Skulls. Uh, he's a bead maker. Uh, you've seen probably his beads on you know all the forums and Facebook. He makes amazing beads. Well, he actually made a model out of wood of this particular knife. Sent that model to Alan, told him what materials he wanted, and Alan created this knife. The polishing was done by Fred. Uh, Alan originally did a satin finish, and Fred uh, decided to polish it up. Made a couple of other small, very minor modifications to the, the knife itself. And the reason Fred ended up selling this knife is uh, he is a lefty, but he had never had a lefty knife. This was his first true lefty. And he had gotten so used to right-handed knives, uh, the lock felt uh, awkward to him. Uh, since he wasn't carrying it, he decided to sell it. And boy, am I glad that he did. I absolutely love this little guy. The blade length on this knife, uh, cutting edge is about two inches. Nice modified sheep's foot with a little bit of belly. The uh, overall length is two and five sixteenths. The handle is four inches long, so it fits nicely in the hand. See my pinky stays on the end. Nice choil. Very comfortable. Very sharp. All Allen's knives are very sharp. It's a hollow grind, I believe a 10 inch wheel. That's a standard for, for Allen's stuff. And there you go. Now, if you'd like to see some more pictures on this knife, you can check out my Instagram. There's a thread uh, that has a lot of documentation on this knife. Uh, it's in the custom section of the USN. It's called Any Allen Davis Fans Here. You can actually see the building of the model by Fred. Uh, then you can see the work in progress pics that Alan had sent Fred about this knife. And then after that, you can see the modifications that Fred made to this knife. So, lots of stuff out there. As far as I know, this is still one of a kind. Uh, no other knife has been made in this configuration. Uh, Alan is open to uh, making knives that he has made before, styles before. So it's uh, you may get a one-off, but there may be a, you know not too long into the future, uh, he may uh, have somebody request it after seeing it, and uh, and have one made. I'm sure that you could ask him, you know, not to do that, but um, uh, you know, I don't see why you would mind too much as long as it's not identical. Uh, I am somebody who really likes to have something very unique and uh, I tell you what, I, this might be one of my most unique other than my flipper. So I think that'll about do it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll uh, post some links to Alan's Facebook page, his uh, new YouTube channel, uh, which is a very brief videos of uh, the action on some of his knives his web page and uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to uh, Fred's beads. Uh, he makes some amazing beads. I happen to have one on my Grimsmo Norseman that he made for me. Uh, so yeah, if you get some time, check them out. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace be with you.